Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look how to edit and layer audio in iMovie 09. So iMovie 09 allows you to do a lot with audio, including being able to create layers of audio, different things like the audio from your video, some music, sound effects, things like that. Let's go and take a closer look. Okay, so here's an iMovie project. I'm going to go ahead and select and drag a clip and put it in the project up here. Now, I've got audio in this already. If I scratch it or if I play it, you can hear the audio. So now what I want to do is I want to add another layer of audio on top of that. Now I can drag an audio file from the finder or I can go ahead and select the audio section here on the right and I can go ahead and look through the things I have in iTunes. I can look through things I've saved from GarageBand. I can also look through sound effects and uh, various bits of music from iLife and iMovie itself. So for instance I can select the iLife sound effects and go to Jingles and at the bottom here I'll see various different pieces of music that come with iLife. So I can go ahead and pick one of these and preview it. I can go ahead and drag that to the project here and I can add it to the entire project which is what the green here is indicating or I can go ahead and just add it into the clip right here and it will put it right here. You can see clearly where the starting point is for it. Now if I play it I'll hear both me talking from the video and I'll hear the music itself. Beautiful view from... Now I can go ahead and make this audio a little quieter by clicking on the tool area there going to audio adjustments and then I can go ahead and adjust the volume. So I can bring this volume down. Now you can adjust this audio in other ways as well. If I go to audio adjustments again, not only can I adjust the volume, but I can create something called ducking. What ducking will do is it will basically make this the dominant piece of audio and it will go out and reduce all the other tracks. So I can turn that on and this will take all the other tracks down to 15% of the volume. I can take it down to nothing if I really want to cut out all the other audio from all the other tracks. Now I can also adjust the fade in and fade out for the piece of audio. I can set it to manual. And I can set it down to nothing if I just wanted to abruptly start playing or I can increase it up to 5 seconds. Now I can go ahead and add yet another layer if I want. I can add another song or say I can go ahead and add a sound effect to the same area and you can see it appears there in another layer. And I can go ahead and adjust the audio for that as well to whatever I want, volume, increase, fade in, fade out, that kind of thing. And now all of the audio will play. I'll get me talking in the video, I'll get the music, and I'll get the sound effect. Now you can go ahead and separate the audio from a piece of video like this by selecting the video and going to Edit and then Detach Audio. And this will create a layer of audio that's synced perfectly with this piece of video here. Now since it's completely separated from the video you could actually go ahead and do things with it. Let's get rid of the rest of this audio here. I can actually go ahead and trim it and shift it. I can shift this slightly and now the audio will be off with the video. One of the neat things you can do with this, although it's not very useful, is you can then go into clip adjustments just for that piece of audio and you can actually change the speed or even reverse the audio there and you get a really strange piece of audio. Another thing you can do with audio, and this doesn't matter if you've split it from the video or not, is you can go ahead and normalize. This is under Audio Adjustments. So what Normalize does is it basically increases the volume of the clip so that it's as loud as can be without actually distorting it. And this really helps if you've got a very low microphone volume or you've got different clips you're going to use in the same movie that have different levels of volume. You can go ahead and normalize each clip. It's a very quick way to get the volume level set to about the same throughout your entire project. Now another thing you can do is you can take a piece of audio, add it to the sequence, and then you can go and trim it by using the clip trimmer right here. Select that and now you can see the waveform and you can make out little bits of the sound using the waveform. You can trim it to get a very specific piece of audio like maybe this just one click here. Hit done and now you've got that one <laughs> click in the sound instead of the you entire thing. One common thing you may want to do is mute the volume in just one section of your video. and one way to do that is simply to go ahead and split the video in many places. So you can select an area in the video and then you go ahead and select Split Clip which is Shift Command S. So for instance I go right here, I do Shift Command S, splits the video, I do it again here. Now I've got 
video that just runs fluidly. Doesn't these splits don't actually create a visual break there? But I can go ahead and adjust the audio for each of these sections separately. So I can go ahead and do audio adjustments and bring the volume down just on this clip. So now, as I play it, it'll get silent there, and then the volume will return as soon as the end of the clip is reached, and it goes on to the next section. If you want to go further than that, you can always finish up your video editing in iMovie and then go ahead and bring it into GarageBand and do all the audio editing there. I'll take a look at that in a future episode. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.